Hey guys, what's going on? It is Creatable Reacts, and I'm back with another video. So today we're just gonna, you know, make a beautiful paint. We're gonna make a beautiful morning painting. So let's get started. Best beautiful morning painting I would make in 2023. So let's get started. So look what I'm gonna be doing. So instead, I changed my mind. I'm not gonna do that type of canvas. Let's go big. Baby, let's go. So I just changed my mind at the last minute. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna spread the paint around. The best way to make your paintings complicated is not using a lot of paint on the sky, because that means the paint will last too long. Just shake them every, and in one tip, shake them every now and then so they last some good time. Now look, you get the blue and you do that. Once you do this. And also now, we got this, now we're gonna add some white. That's just, you know, dry paint on what it is. I think like I have that it's a secret. Something's wrong with my character, you know, confused or tired. Sometimes when you're tired, you get confused. And then you know what you need to do. And then you just, you, first you press it to make like a tree. Then you start spreading out like this. Clouds, you know, you just, you know, tap a little bit, then you just spread to make it look. Glaze it a little bit. Glaze it through the sky a little bit. Now look what you do after that. Then you have to do that. Get that color. Then after that, you when you have used any blue, spank it on that old thing. I don't like using this doesn't fit that canvas on, that's why I'm not using it. But I still use it, but I've it's really beat it's, I beat the devil out of it. Just like what Bob Ross said. I don't really it's not the secret. Some of you guys might think it's a secret to keep your brushes nice. That's what you could do, but it gets dirty over time, so don't suggest you might have to clean it every now and then, which might not be fun. But it's worth it, you know, if you want to make any good YouTube or do anything fun. But now let's spread all the green stuff on it. You just, you know, get red, green, and maybe a little bit of white, and then you mix it up. First, you spread it all around the canvas. Then the secret is, which most of you guys that, if you guys are not new here, you guys know this secret. But if you don't, if you guys are not new here, then you guys are ready. And if you guys are new, I mean, you guys know, don't know the secret. If you guys are not new, then you're fine. You know the secret. But if you guys are new, you guys are fine. But if you're not listening, then I guess you don't. But look, you do. You press everything down. You know what you do? You then after you get, you might add a little bit more paint. The bumps are not big enough. It doesn't look too detailed. Do it again. Keep adding the paint. Then get another slob, another slob, another slob. And let's do one more. No, let's do another one. 
And now, let's go. Now, let's keep, you know, just spreading around up and downs. You know, find a perfect one leg. You might do it once this way or that way. And I'm going to do this way, you know. And then, just, you know, make it a little bit hilly to make it. I'm going to make it like you're on top of it. I'm going to make it look like, you know, there's a little bit of a hill. Like, you know, this side goes a little bit down. I'm not going to make it perfectly flat. Because I'm going to make it look like real life. So, now, since we did that part, we're going to beat the devil out of it. Then... We press it down. And make sure to like and subscribe to my videos. It would mean a lot to me. So I can make some money. So now let's go. So I can maybe do some make afford to make some good videos or maybe afford to do something else fun. Just like if you guys want to do it. Mm. But you know now get some red and black and white and yellow. Add some more black. And after you add some more black, add some more, a little bit more white. And then after you get that beautiful color, you get the cabin color, you do that. Now look at you, you make a nice, you know, cozy cabin for like, you know, a couple cows to sleep in. I don't like, I'm not good at drawing animals, you know, with like paint, but I'm good at better at crayons or like, Oil pastels or whatever, you know what I mean? Just, you know, don't shape it out like you know what the front looks like. Just do it like that. Dump, down, down, down. Do that and then fill it in. Then after that, get a brush like this. Get a little bit of black. Edge it. Don't look. make it look like it's old. Just make it look like it's just fresh and new and it just got paint. I don't, I do some old cabins on this channel. But, you know, I just, you know, do, like, I might do it, you know, a little bit newer. Bob Ross loves doing old cabins. It makes a lot of detail. He loves making a lot of depths into my, his paintings. I do, but I don't know all the ways. But I've learned it from him. But Bob Ross teaches stuff even though he's not alive because his son still makes them. And also, he just has videos left over and people are still watching them because they moved the videos from TV onto the Internet. And look, now we get that now out of the way. Now let's go. It, it doesn't have to be light because it's where... Cows sleep. Cows, you know, go to bed, you know. Cows could go to bed, you know, like, you know, they just go to bed and they're like, oh, I'm tired. Cows don't really need, like, to move around. They just, you know, sleep. They're not, like, they're different than humans. Then you do that. It doesn't have to be the best you want it to. You don't have to. Nothing's going to turn out the way you want, you know, all the time. Then you also get some white, brown, and get the color you left, up, left over from the cabin. Then you push it. down here do it like it's over there perfect just do it like this you know just do this part like you know how thick it is you know what I mean I'm also gonna put some more black Let's do it like, you know, it doesn't show on that side. It's the other, completely other side. Now, we're going to get this brush. Get some green, white, yellow. And grab some color left over from the cabin. Just grab, you know, any dark colors you see that are on your board. Then after that, you got a beautiful bush. Now, after you got that beautiful cabin color, then now let's use that cabin, that same exact cabin color. If you want to add a little bit more red or any, I'm also just gonna add some white that, but just what some white and some yellow. Also add some dark. I want to make some oak trees, you know. Okay, now I'm gonna get. Do this, do that, do this, do that, do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. And then you just, you know, do it like curls down there and up there. And also you just, you know, get any green you see. Just get mix up all the nice colors like white. Just mix up, you know, white, black, some black, and green and yellow and some white. And just do it a little bit more until you're happy. Then you just get a 
make thousands you press down and that's the best secret stroke of making your painting look complicated look at that you want to make a difference and you'll find a slight difference from the graph so the painting looks realistic you won't want it because the world the real human world the real world looks like you know you want it to look a little bit if you, as you get older you learn how to make do stuff in the room as you learn and get older with paintings you know the real points of the real world and you see the world more and you decide this is the difference I want to make. You see, I'm going to look at these trees. You know, see there's little over things on that tree. Well, there's like little over hangs that, that they need to be trimmed. I'm going to add some of that on there. You know, even someone I put snow on there during winter paintings. But then look what I'm going to do after. Look what I'm going to do. Just wait a second. Look at that. It's beautiful. Now, let's, you know, get some. You could do this to learn. But I prefer, I only learn from Bob Ross because, I, you know, I, my channel didn't exist yet because I was... The one that started it, but then if you ever want to, you know, start a channel. If you ever, you know, want to, you know, start a channel, that's gonna be it's hard though, but it's worth, you know, like the pay, you know, it's worth it a lot. But now, if you ever like, you know, want to do something, you know, like this, you know, if you ever want to just be like Bob Ross, start with me, and then you could start with Bob Ross. But I had to start with Bob Ross, that's why it didn't look similar. I guess start with me, and then do it for a little bit, and then you do mine. That's my advice. If you want to do it or not. I'm gonna get one of my pops. If you don't, you don't need a pop scoop or use. You know what I prefer? I'm just so far to get a very thin detail brush. You know, just a very. Like you just want to get like you know a very thin brush, very very like you know just a very narrow brush. You know what I mean? Just a little narrow brush. I don't need something crazy, anything crazy, to make that one. Oh, that seems good. I'm mean, gonna need to organize that a little bit. It's getting messy. Well, I might good consider in subscribing. You don't get so many browns or anything, but then make sure it looks thin. And then now I'll do that beautiful bush, twigs, do that twigs. That is different because that's not, you know, you don't see it from that part because it's like, you know, a little bit slightly different. But, you know, you could put some dots, you know, so you can see a little tiny bit. You know, if you ever want to, you know, then after that, I'm going to add some onto here just to make it a little bit more like it's hiding a little bit. You know, I'm just going to do this way. I'm just going to cover them. But I'm going to make a little bit of fraction flexion from them. Then I'm also going to do some paint things down here. Some bushes down here. I'm going to make a little bush around the tree. I'm going to add a bush. I'm going to also get out to, you know, some bushes right here. Right here. I'm going to add one right here. And also, look, I'm going to add one in the back. Red, blue, red, blue, and green, and white, and some black if you want to add any more. Just do it, you know, it's worth it, it's fun. Uh, now, let's go. Now the best thing to do, press it down. Favorite part, I love pressing it. The best part is to press it down and just have fun, right? And then Bob Ross usually finish up the twigs. The last thing I love to do is get a dark color and add some birds. It's not, you know, like a squad of birds. Like, you know, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, seven birds. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm also gonna you know, put some in the sky so you see it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already. And bye.